I dream of my India and India of 2020 where there is prosperity and happiness in plenty. The knowledge superpower, the information hub. Why not we grow it into a huge tree from just a shop? Let us access all the materials we have for future. Repair any shortcomings with unity as a suture. We need optimism and devotion and flinching. Then only will we see India forward is inching. Let all of us balance our shortcomings our power and build a developed nation. It's the need of the hour. Good morning everyone. I am Manya Harneja from Bandhati Public School, Pitampura, New Delhi. I have always dreamt of living in a developed India. At least by the time I have grown up to become a responsible adult. So that I can add more to the already developed India. Our very own missile man, late Sri APJ Abdul Kalam, marked 2020 as a landmark year. Vision 2020 for our country which he laid down two decades ago as a pathway to an economically developed India. He strongly advocated two main points here. Education and technology. He always believed that education is the most important element for the growth and prosperity of a nation. Well, is this vision still relevant today? Of course it is. The reach of education to the rural areas and the urban poor should be the foremost. Technology-based education is the best aid to achieve the former. The current scenario pandemic outbreak might have led us to the virtual system of education. <coughs> but the learning it gives us is that it is the best suited system for us to reach out to a place where there are no schools or teachers physically. But we are still able to give the children the best education and knowledge digitally. So now let me tell you about Dr. Kalam's vision. The cornerstones of the Dr. Kalam's vision rely on three main areas. One, we as a nation need to realize and unleash our hidden potentials. Two, build a company build an economy based on technological leadership. Three, balance growth of the urban and rural thriving hand in hand. So let me take the first key area and dig into how we can realize and unleash our hidden potentials. By hearing one of his speeches, I came across a very interesting story about Dr. E.P.J. Abdul Kalam. He quoted that he and his team needed beryllium diaphragms for a new device back in 1975. Beryllium diaphragms, they are so common today, even found in audio speakers. But back then, they were so rare that only a few nations made them. After USA denied to give India the same, Israel researched and found out that beryllium diaphragms are made from beryllium rods whose raw material beryllium comes from us, India. Can you believe it? We are amongst the top four nations to make and produce beryllium. After that, Israel commenced research and in four months of time, we made our very own beryllium diaphragms. So, that was that our first hidden potential and I believe there are many such raw beryllium's hidden in India today and I believe that Sanskrit is one such rare gem. Sanskrit, so technical and scientific, is slowly fading away from the face of India. Even NASA has said that Sanskrit is the most technical and scientific language in the world, even for computers. It is also the oldest language as the Vedas and Puranas are written in it. 
It is also the mother of all languages. We, as the next generation, need to hone our skills and learn the value of our hidden treasures. All the scientific answers, theories, historical secrets, etc. are said to be written in our old scriptures, all written in Sanskrit. It is also said that the law of gravitational force was written in ancient Hindu texts about thousand years before Isaac Newton even discovered it. It is also said that atoms and molecules were discovered by one of our rishis. So, understand. so understanding Sanskrit will pave way to many unanswered questions and mysteries. Maybe even the biggest one till now. Evolution. So, India can become the leader of the world once again if it looks back into its ancient knowledge, all in Sanskrit. Late Sri APJ Abdul Kalam also believed that revamping our education system and building old universities like Nalanda universities will transform India and change India back to the Vishwa Guru. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also propagates the idea of Jai Vigyan and Jai Anasandhan along with the idea of Jai Jawan and Jai Kisan. So, what is stopping us? Let us unveil our hidden path. The language so rich in crude. Sanskrit, I robbery leave. But to English we all are glued. We, the next generation, will work and make India a developed nation. We will fulfill Kalam's dreams, overcoming all limitations. Thank you and have a nice day.